What's up everybody, Tim Vix here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Right now it's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 degrees out here in Rorkel, Aurissa. And we have got two beautiful interceptors right behind me. What's happening? Let's find out. So, I've uh, been wanting to go on a road trip on the Interceptor for quite some time now and uh, finally it's happening today. Yes, it's freezing cold out here, but that's not gonna stop us. Uh, us, because I'm being joined by my dad and also Dheeraj Bhaiya, who will be joining with his Interceptor shortly. So, by the way, I'm riding the red one and my dad will be riding the white one. The white one is, uh, has been lent to us by a very good friend of mine. So. Thank you, Amok, for lending your bike. So yeah, we are heading to this place called Gurgura Waterfalls, which is uh, somewhere around, somewhere I think nearby. I don't exactly know where the location is, but yeah, we are going there and uh, hopefully it turns out to be a good ride. I think it's my first time uh, riding in Orissa. I've covered a couple of good places in and around southern India, but riding first time in Orissa. Shall we start the engines, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Hello. Uh, Let's do it together. Yeah. Count of three. Okay. Uh. One, two, three. Oh no. <laughs> Halfway through our journey and uh, conveniently found this spot. Uh, all the three interceptors are parked. So yeah, the roads are pretty amazing actually. I mean, we're having a lot of fun. Um, missing my mount actually. I forgot to bring my action camera so I don't have anything to record my uh, on-road journey. But trust me, the roads are so damn good. But one thing that I found was uh, a lot of unmarked speed breakers here which is not the case in southern India southern India you spot a indication that always says there's a speed breaker but yeah, there are a lot of unmarked speed breakers but yeah roads are amazing having a lot of fun coming to the bikes now bikes are performing extremely well and uh, having ridden the Duke for so long the gearing ratios in these bikes are totally different I mean you just slot them in a decent gear and then this thing keeps on pulling. There's no stopping, you don't have to change the gears quite frequently, unlike the Dukes. I feel the gearing ratios in the Dukes are quite short and aggressive because it focuses more on the acceleration, but gearing ratios on these are perfect for touring. Also the riding posture is pretty convenient, really nice. <coughs> Hi daddy. Hi. <laughs> Hi Bea. <laughs> Just stopped for a small uh, tea break. But I don't think they have tea, right? They have. have they, they have. have. Make it. Okay, it's pretty cold. I think it's around 5, 5, 6 degrees out, right? How's the ride so far? Excellent, right? Enjoying the roads. A lot of speed breakers. <laughs> lot of speed. Yeah, that's what I was saying now. Like Very in unexpected and unmarked. Yeah, unmarked speed breakers. A lot of unmarked speed breakers.
we reached our destination. Now, thing is, January and December season is like a picnic season here. So mad rush. You see a lot of people cooking and stuff. So basically, people bring utensils, uh, raw food materials, and uh, cylinders and all that stuff, and they sit here, cook. Have a picnic and then head back. So that's why this mad rush. But yeah, this is beautiful. It's a proper forest, a lot of off-road trails. But we're heading to the main falls right now. Let's see how it is. Find something, Daddy. Huh? Did you find something? Yeah. What? Lot of monkeys. <laughs> few snakes. Few snakes. Few snakes. snakes yeah. We saw this small off-road trail, and we thought we'll take that trail, you know, just to avoid the crowd. And we thought it'll take us like, closer to the falls or something, but apparently, there's nothing worth. Dad went ahead and he uh, just checked the route, but it's nothing worth watching. So, heading back now. You see people carrying all stuff for cooking. <laughs> That's how passionate these guys are about cooking. Picnic seasons and raw kebabi like. <laughs> These are the beautiful interceptors that got us here. And if you're someone who's watching from Rorkela and you happen to have an interceptor, you can contact Dheeraj Bhaiya. <laughs> Do you have an Instagram account or yeah. something? Dheeraj Singh 009. Dheeraj Singh 009. So I'll tag it in the description. And if you have an interceptor, you can join the group, right? Sure. Anytime. Uh, anytime. And uh, these guys plan a lot of rides and all. So you can tag along. And we are back guys, what an amazing trip, the roads were so beautiful, the total ride was roughly around 250 kilometers, but beautiful ride and beautiful roads, I think we covered almost all terrains, we went, we had proper highway rides, we had uh, off-road terrain for some sections, sadly I didn't have the camera as I mentioned earlier, otherwise I would have captured everything on that, but yeah, maybe next time. But the fall, coming to the falls now, the falls was okay-ish, not too great, but the location was beautiful. Uh, the location where the falls was, it was completely surrounded by trees and all, beautiful location. Let's sit with the bike. Alright, so this trip is a very special trip for me because I've always wanted to ride with my dad. Not as a pillion, but you know, two separate bikes and go on a ride with him. Even he's very passionate about... Uh, biking and uh, always wanted to do this and today it finally happened finally happened so it's a very memorable trip for me uh, I think it's a very memorable trip for both of us because first time I'm riding with him and I really loved it so yeah first time but definitely not the last so that's all for this video guys I hope you enjoyed the vlog if you did hit the subscribe button uh, follow me on Instagram at Tim Wicks and I will catch up with you all in the next one. Yeah, that's like the whole outro thing. Like, you know, I go down and then this.